Jamie from debutantmedia.com um, and actually now mediacontemplate.com. So I hope you've checked out the ebook and if not, head over there right now. Um, I wanted to share with you one of my little SEO tips that really just kind of gets my, uh, my marketing motor running just by how lame that sounds. Um, and really number one for me right now is actually this thing called Open Site Explorer. And what Open Site Explorer does is it actually shares with you a lot of the nitty gritty information that hasn't really been easily available and easily accessible in one place. It's all now in one place. Um, and we can thank the guys at SEO Mods for this because they are rock stars and they pulled this one out. Um, just from a couple of quick overviews, everything they're sharing here is it's fantastic. So you have the page authority and domain authority and if you, you'll notice if you roll over it'll tell you actually what it is. So it predicts this page ranking potential in the search engines based on algorithmic combination of link metrics. Same goes for domain authority. Linking root domains are the number of like core URLs that without the parameters that link directly to you. And then total links are everything that's linking to your site. Fairly obvious. Facebook shares, likes, tweets, and Google Plus are all part of the pro package, which I do have. I have it um, un unaccessed right now. Like I, I have it on or off. Uh, just so I wanted to see, show you guys what the free options are for you. Um, so on the inbound link section, these are just people who link to your site, and it actually gives you the anchor text that pulled in. Um, as you can tell, you get more the further down you go. But look at, I mean, tons and tons here. So it gets really exciting. It's great to see all of these things listed. And they're sorted by page authority or domain authority. Whatever you want to sort them by, it's there. Um, second is top pages. So it's whatever pages within your site are actually the most successful in terms of um, actually generating the highest ranking. So this is sorted right now by page authority, but we have the core uh, root URL or the root domain, I'm sorry, is the first one. It should always be your root domain. It should. Um, but you can sort by anything and it's it's not going to let me right now because this is actually a pro kind of kind of level right there, but it is a, a sorting option um, just to break that up for you. But you know, my second one is about why someone should buy premium denim. And then we go down into how easy is it to find um, the right denim sizing. So I know right off the bat that those are two topics that my readers like, that people post about really frequently, and that get a lot of interest externally as well as internally. So now we have linking domains. So these are also sorted by domain authority, and hitting a number one is great. I have no idea what I am on Mozilla, but you know, thumbs up for that. You end up pulling through a lot of different numbers uh, and a lot of different URLs that you might not be expecting. And when you get into the pro levels, you can actually just see the unlimited data reports, which are crucial for things like this. Now, also on top, you'll see the breakdown. And you'll see what's been .com, net, org. DE is uh, Denmark, I think, or Sweden. I think it's, it's one of the European countries. IT is Italia, so on and so forth. EDU and, o and org are really the kickers there. Those are the ones that are worth the most because you require certain things to actually get that access. It's a big plus. Definitely do that. The more you can get those, the better, but it's kind of harder to set that up on your own. Anchor text. One of the things that you'll notice for mine is it's all the same. It really kind of is. It's just different versions. And then Jamie, having that is not awesome. But every one you click on, you can actually see the different ones. Of course, they're not letting me do it now. But normally, you can see the different anchor text. The big thing that I love about this the most is this little buddy right here. So what we get to do here is we get to actually pull in data based on comparison of your different sites. I don't know about you guys, but I try not to actually do a lot of comparison within my own genre. Now, I did this here for reference purposes, but the less I think about that, the better. Um, I, I like to focus on my own things. However, it's nice to see sometimes that your statistics and what you've been working on are actually paying off. So there's a lot of splits down here, a couple of different shared numbers that are strange, but overall, very strong on everyone's end. And you'll notice for me, what I'm kind of surprised about is my almost flat 50-50 split of 
follow versus no follow links. That's pretty strange, and no one else is even close. So that's something that I definitely need to personally look into and work on more no follows outside of the site. Then we go down in here, and we get to break out between um, subdomain metrics. Now, I'm not sure about the accuracy of this, considering I have like six subdomains off of every URL I own. So who knows how this is set up, but I'll take it. I mean, it's it's still nice to see it. Once again, high on the no follows versus do follows, but nothing terrible. Of course, right here, the root domain, I expect it on blog to blow us all out of the water. But great numbers on everyone's behalf. That's the thing. We're all so really strong, um, which is surprising for a genre that is as narrow as this one is. Um, and that's, I mean, that's everything. It goes so much deeper, too. It's insane how deep it goes when it comes to actually pulling through the genuine data from um, the pro level. And I just wanted to share this with you guys really quickly. If you are an AppSumo member, actually, if you're not, too, hop on here because uh, for the next ooh, 58 hours, I think. Yeah, wow, weird. Um, which is not going to be what it is on this post. You can get uh, two months for free with um, SEO mods. And the guys are great. The product they have is amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So definitely jump in on this and uh, take this opportunity. But it's been Jamie from debutantmedia.com. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.